Hi folks, uh, well today I am actually going to be visiting the Governor Old Parish Church. Uh, I'm going to be visiting what they call the, the Govan Stones Project. Uh, it's essentially it's kind of, the church itself is kind of stopped being a parish church, even though it's still called one. And it's now home to a collection of uh, carved stones, including some hogback stones. And uh, today they've got some stuff going on, they've got uh, a dig, they've got some reenactors, so I'm going to go take some video footage and kind of let you all see what's going on. And I'll post a link to their, web, their website in the description box, so if you're interested in coming along and finding out more about them, please follow the link underneath. And so, it's a bit kind of horrible outside today, so hopefully the weather, that bad weather will pass and get a good day of it. So, I'll, I'll stop yattering on just now and try and get inside the, the kirk and I'll see you all in a bit. So that's where I'm heading. So you can see where the, they've been digging for the arts and archaeology. And it's going to head towards the kirk itself. Yeah, welcome to, to Scotland in the spring. This is inside the old Govan Parish Church. 19th century, but still very pretty. And here are some of the carved stones. There's some tour that worked. We man the horse. Some more over there. I'm going to make my way around in a minute and go see the whole back stones. There's the hog back stones right there. Beautiful things. So that over there is supposed to be the sarcophagus that St. Constantine is buried in. He was actually one of the kings of Scotland and was canonised and made a saint after he died. And Govan Parish Church was actually dedicated to him.
Well, that's me finally back from uh, the Govan Stones project at the Govan Old Parish Kirk. Definitely worth a visit. Brilliant place. It's like so underrated. I know it's. Uh, I know I said before I, I'd, I was kind of avoiding going into Glasgow, but even within Glasgow, the Govan Parish, the Govan Old Parish Church, and the Govan Stones are such a hidden gem. So there are so many people in Glasgow who do not know that they are there. And it's, as you've probably seen with the video footage, it's just, it's an amazing little place. And I think there's, I know I said at the start of the video, it closed the church, I think there's a couple of religious groups that use it. But it's generally kind of used as a kind of a museum, and, or <laughs> as one of the people who run the group, a room full of old stones. So but it's definitely worth a visit. So I've left the link to the website down below in the description bar. Go look at look them up, look them up, follow them, find out more about them, go visit them. And they're definitely worth a visit, they're worth the support. Word needs to get out about the kind of the Govan Stones and the, the Govan Old Parish Church. My they they, they they need to be more famous. They, they, they need better they need to be better known. And hopefully I'm hopefully fingers crossed that this video does help because they are so they are so underrated. They're just so kind of they're so kind of they're such a, a kind of uh, hidden gem, and for a city like Glasgow to have such a resource and for it to go unnoticed is such a shame. So definitely look them up on Twitter, look them up on Facebook, follow them there, uh, retweet, for, uh, share their stuff, get the word out about them, share this video. Get folk, folk, get folk to know about, about the kind of uh, the, the govern uh, stones. I'm like, okay, I'll try and calm down now. <laughs> get a bit, get a bit over hyped there, but definitely get the word out about them. Uh, so if you like this video, if you like my channel, please subscribe, please like the videos, please leave some comments. It does help. It helps the channel grow. It gets more word, the the word out about what I'm doing, about the places I'm going to. So. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all enjoy what you saw. And I'll see you all in the next video. And hopefully I'll be getting further afield soon. And you'll be able to get to see some more amazing places in Scotland. See you later. Bye bye.